I'm Taylor Ingram with CARE. Today we're going to go over the Companion 5 stationary oxygen concentrator and its basic operation. The Companion 5 produces flow rates up to 5 liters per minute and is the most technologically advanced stationary on the market. Let's get started. The first step is connecting your cannula or oxygen tubing. The Companion 5 can take up to 50 feet of oxygen tubing. If you're not using a humidifier bottle, you simply attach your cannula or tubing to the robust metal cannula barb on the Companion 5, like so. If you are using a humidifier bottle, you'll need to attach it. The humidifier bottle is filled with distilled water between its minimum and maximum marking and placed inside of this elastic band. The stand is on front so it's easy to access and you can get to it to refill the water as needed very easily. Each Companion 5 comes with a humidifier adapter tube. You'll screw this into the top of the humidifier bottle. Once you've screwed it in, loop it around and attach it to the outlet. And then you'll attach your cannula or tubing outlet to the barb on the lid of the humidifier bottle. Now you're hooked up and let's begin the power on. Now that your cannula or tubing is connected, let's show you how to turn on the machine and use its controls. First, I'll show you the basic user interface, which is here. Very simple and easy to understand. The top light here is for normal operation. This will show green when the unit is powered on and running properly. The second light here is red. This is your warning light that will come on if there's an active alarm condition on the machine. And this bottom light is optional. Your machine may or may not have this, but this is an oxygen monitor alarm that will light up yellow if the oxygen percentage drops below an acceptable level. And finally, this down here is the hour meter, which also displays diagnostic alarm codes if there is an alarm condition on the machine. To power on the unit, simply press the button upward. When you do this, all the lights will come on initially, that is normal, and then eventually just the green one will remain. To set your flow rate to the prescribed setting, line the black ball up exactly with the line of your setting. So right now we're close to five liters per minute. Let's say your flow rate prescribed by your doctor is two. So you would turn it down until the ball is centered with the two. And you leave it just like that where it's set and turn the machine off and next time you turn it back on it will remember the flow rate you were at. And that's all there is to operating the Companion 5. Maintenance on the Companion 5 for the patient or user is actually very easy. One thing you will want to do is make sure that you change your tubing or refill your humidifier bottle as instructed by your equipment provider. Air enters the machine in two different places. The air that you eventually breathe enters through the bottom of the machine and there is a filter there and air used for cooling enters through the vents on the back. When you set the machine up, you do want to make sure that neither of those places are obstructed. So you want to keep it about a foot away from all walls, curtains, furniture, or anything like that to be sure you have proper airflow. Now the filter on the bottom of the unit is not replaced by the user. It's replaced by your equipment provider or service technician. They'll schedule this once every two years. And that's the only routine maintenance that this device requires. And it can be accessed without opening the case so they can do it in your home. If you need to clean the device, you don't want to spray liquids directly onto it. You want to spray liquid cleaner, a mild bleach household detergent onto a cloth and then wipe the cloth onto the unit just to make sure that no water ingresses into the machine. But that's the only maintenance you should have to worry about. Thanks for joining us today. If you need further information, please check out our website and our further videos.